Hello, welcome back to Let's Play uh, damn it, uh, Metroid Zero Mission for the GBA. In the last episode, we obtained some stuff. We, obta we obtained the super missile tank earlier than we were supposed to. But, that's the way I roll. That's how I do it. And now, you're not, I don't think you're supposed to go this way first either, but I do. Mainly because there's some stuff in here I like to get. Give me some. Ah, fill in the fill in the lab. There we go. Anyways, there's invisible. It's a fake lava down here. Sorry, I wasn't talking. I was focusing. Out of way to get this, you gotta. Well, as you can see, you've gotta make a platform like so. Now there is something else in this room, but as of right now, we cannot obtain that. It's something that has to be obtained after some upgrades that we get later in the game. But yeah. Um, so far I haven't done any work on the Kingdom Hearts. I just haven't felt like playing it lately. I mean, I know this would be the perfect time to do it. Because I don't have school right now. Well, for the weekend. But, oh well, I'll probably do some, tomorrow, do some grinding tomorrow. This eventually all will eventually loop around if you want to make it loop around. But sometimes it it won't because well, see, there's invisible lava right there or fake lava. Here's another map data room. <sighs> sorry if my um oh, as you can see, it loops around. I'm um, sorry if my commentary is crap day. I'm not feeling too well today. My stomach's upset, making me sick. Anyways, yeah, it, uh, it looks terrible. I was thinking out loud. But yeah, there's a little, what you call it, a walkway through here that you can go through. That leads all the way back around to over here. And then you just go back. Nothing to it. And now you fall through the end, through the end, through the fake lava. Now this right here. Now this right here is real lava. There is some stuff down there. I, I might come back for it later. I don't know. I, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Depends on how long, how quickly I, was, I just want to finish the game. More than likely, it won't get done. No offense to anybody in here, but there's just well, if I want to get just want to get the game done, it's going to get done. I'm not going to. It's not, I'm not gonna just, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but there's a missile tank right here. Oh, come on, freaking, there you go. Wow, 
by the fact that I oh I didn't I didn't avoid them all. I was about to say the fact that I avoided all of them was, was pretty cool, but I didn't avoid them all. And now he has some weird tentacle plant things going on. Tentacle plant things. I hate tentacle plant things. They irritate me. <clears throat> Oops, wasted missiles. I don't think you're actually supposed to destroy that thing, but I do every time. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, my. Anyways, it's the wave beam. I was trying to make it suspenseful, but it's not. It's the wave beam. It's a beam that can penetrate uh, walls and go through walls. Like. I thought it could go through Chozo's, but apparently not. Maybe it could go through a Chozo that's already recharged. Nope. Yeah, uh, I'll show y'all. Okay, right here. Here's a good spot. See, normally with the, just the ice beam, I couldn't do this. Even if they were just right there. I'd have to uh, bomb the wall. And then... Um, well, you know. Attack them. Six minutes. Seven minutes. Excuse me, we're at seven minutes. <sighs> well, how y'all doing today? It's currently 10 26 in the evening. And I'm just doing some late recording. Anyways, let's continue moving. Now, as you can see, there's another one of those things blocking our path. Now, the way to kill it is like this. You gotta destroy its underbelly. Same goes for this one. Haha, <laughs> you're dead. Aha. Well, as you can see, there's the, there's the big open circle because there's a energy tank right here we now have six extra energy we have now have six energy tanks oh and now that those things are gone we can speed boost our way through here just like that and we get more missiles and well <clears throat> never mind I was gonna save something, but I was gonna spoil it. I was gonna spoil something, but never mind. Come on down. Never mind. Uh, I think our max is 140. Uh oh, white door of death. And it's a makeshift spore spawn. Now what I like to do is switch to my super missiles and just take this guy out. Don't even play around with him. I have exactly enough super missiles to take care of him. And these things do not drop super missiles. They drop regular missiles. And I'm out. And he's still not dead.
crap, I forgot it takes three. Let's try and get up there. Haha! -ha. Wall jump, di wall jump, killing to the end. Now, the way is blocked right here. And the only way out is this way. Straight to another lair with turtle heads. Let's see where we want Ridley. What's Ridley? Hmm. Interesting. Well, this as as most people know, Ridley is this big uh, pterodactyl dragon thing that um, has been pursuing Samus her whole life according to the quote unquote official Metroid manga um, Ridley killed Samus's parents and well, by the way you're only supposed to come up here so you can see this thing right here it's done burrowed down as I was saying Ridley killed Samus's parents and that's why she was raised by the Chozo which are those giant bird things. Supposedly. I, I've never read the manga, but I've talked to people who've read the manga, and they've told me about it. I've just never had any interest in reading it. I like the games. If something has an official manga, it's a, it tends to ruin it for me. I mean, golly. We don't need a comic book describing everything that happens. Oop, another white... Is that an egg? Well, it was. Well, anyways, I don't know the name of this little mini-boss, but... Oh, it actually hit me? Oh, well. Come on. Anyway, I'll tell you about that. I'll tell you about this mini boss when it gets done, because I never take damage. Let's try to finish this thing off. Oh, he's dead. Oh, there's no super missile tank. Now, um, uh, what was I saying? All you gotta do is attack his little stinger, and that'll, uh, with regular missiles, that'll kill him. We couldn't have gone through this door because there was a missile, there was a block that can only be destroyed by a missile right there. And now we got more super missiles that can go through this door. Ah, side hoppers, I hardly knew ye. I don't remember the names of these, but they drop super missiles, that's all I know. And regular missiles. I'm sorry, I was focusing there for a second. I don't know why. Oh, beware, there is a trap. Um three blocks in front of that. As you can see where that where that little ball came in is where the trap is. We'll eventually circle around and I'll show y'all where the trap came ends up. Excuse me. I'm so sorry about that. I've never gotten the hiccups during a let's play. Oh, well, I think I did once. Anyways, where where all oh, got attacked? Where it all circles around is right over here. Yep.
if I could have got these things frozen in a better place. Rip right there. <laughs> I think if I remember correctly, over here is uh, just a save point. For 15 minutes. And let's go ahead and end the episode. Um, in the next episode, we'll continue exploring Ridley. Um, this has been CardMJ823. Remind you all like, subscribe, comment, favorite, you know, all that good stuff. This has been CardMJ823 signing off. Have a nice day.